bait and catch the ball. Had a pair of 100-yard games a season ago, did Cephas. And feed Asupa. Is that Oliver? Stankovic turns, hands off. That's Walter, nowhere to go. There's Ed, Oliver wrecking it right on cue today. Ed Oliver. He, he's so quick out of his stance. Watch how quick Ed Oliver gets off of, off of his stance. Boom, hits the center, sheds it, finds the running back. There's oh. nothing you could do. Yeah, but was caught after a 34-yard run. Four for 11, his fifth carry of the day. Guess who's there to drag him down? Ed Oliver takes him down. Everybody within about 12 yards looks, in the middle of the field. It looks a lot like Stanford, and Houston brought the kitchen sink there. And they get to him, and it's about a yard loss leading the charge. Dare I say, number 10, Ed Oliver. He's tied for third in the NCAA last year with six catches of 50 or more on the ground. This goes nowhere thanks to number 10 and company. Stankovic looking left side. Cephas up, had it, and could not hold on to it. As it was Isaiah Johnson who was on the coverage there, third and long coming up. That's a hitch. He's got to throw that ball lower. Might have sailed because he knew he was going to take a shot like that from Ed Oliver. Came in earlier in the third quarter to replace Sean Stankovich as a super left side wrapped up and dropped by Oliver, who continues to rack up the tackles. Give Ed Oliver and company something to think about. On the ground, it's Taylor. And the Houston defensive line stands up, clogging it up up take, front. Take a look at number 10, taking on the double team. He's about 275 pounds in reality. I know what he's listed. <laughs> Their defense off the field, too. Here's Tate under pressure. And he'll airmail that one. And this is this is exactly why NFL scouts are here, 12 of them, to watch Oliver and, and his teammates. But the effort consistently played. Still looking for our first sack of TFL for today. Third and 12 into a crowd. He's not one of those stories where it's a former walk on. He's starting here, shouldn't be in a starting role, and he's just hanging on for dear life. They're Someone knows how to make an entrance. Here's Tate for pressure from it. Tate will pitch to play. Well, he fumbles it. Able to pick it up, and this play isn't going anywhere. Third and nine, chance to keep the dream alive. The blitz, Arizona picks it up, ball is deflected. Ed Oliver got capable, but it's nice to have that extra set of bodies on the outside. Ed Oliver is going to wrestle number 22, Javon Thomas, down. He was in the backfield about at the snap. If you're Seth Boomer. And they're going to stay conservative, hand the ball off. Houston, I think, could see that coming. Gain a yard or so and set up the field. And turned it over three times. A little jet sweep type play, which Houston saw coming. That one goes backwards. On first down, Scott Ed Oliver says hello, and down you go with the TFL. On third down, pressure, and there it is the first sack of the year for Ed Oliver. And the ball loose. Touchdown, Ed Boule. Ameki Ed Boule. Scoop and score, Houston, and Oliver. A fake. Look out. Pressure. Oliver. Got it. Then he went down. It's another sack. Ed, Oliver's second sack. Third and 13. Lewis stepping up. Pressure, and he's down. Houston defense does it again. Ed Oliver with Carter on his hip. Yeah. Defensive tackles. Double team on Oliver, up the middle, to push back to the quarterback, and down he goes. Egbule is going to get the credit, but a lot of different white jerseys were on it. There's no doubt. It goes to Ed Oliver. Watch the push right here. It's all about pushing linemen. Two guys trying to block this guy, puts him right in the face of the quarterback, and now your defensive ends collapse the pocket with nowhere to go. Reason given, but Ed Oliver is done for the day. He will not return. Go. When he was in, he was a factor. I'll let you know that. Whether it was, you know, knocking balls down, getting into the back.